right. Chair scenes. Basic concept is simply this. We have an actor who is as yet undefined. Our next in a long line of stage fall. <laughs> wow, strong choice. Okay. Uh, next in a long line of stage falls will enter the scene, bringing with them a story which the first actor will then take part in. That actor will find a reason to organically exit the scene, and the game keeps going ad absurdium ad nauseum. Do you get the general idea? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the stage falls doing chair scenes. I, I did. Yeah. Because, you know, for, for my, my bits, <laughs> my parts, my pieces, orifices. Are you sure you know the correct bits that my profession requires? Um, well, yeah, like you got, you got like, a, like a stethoscope and, and, <laughs> and the gloves, right? I also have these tongs. Um, are, are those for like pulling something? Let's call it that. <laughs> uh, wait, wait where, where, where are you going? Where, where are you going with those? I'm just gonna get you real quick. Right? Well, I. Yeah. What? 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 I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what. I thought you said you were a gynecologist. Well, I'm also obviously a quack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my HMO covers this. Uh. Oh, hello, Mr. Pritchett. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So, I'm here for your tattoo removal consultation. Yes. And, um, what possessed you? To uh, get this done, pray tell. Vodka. <laughs> I have several things done by the vodka myself. Gin is the one you have to watch out for. So, uh, how many, what did you, exactly did you want removed? Um, the one on my lower back. Oh, okay. A dolphin busting through a starfish in a unicorn. Oh, yes. It was the 90s, wasn't it? Yeah. We've all made mistakes. So, if you would, just give me a moment. I'll get my laser ready. Now, let's see. How comfortable are you with searingly painful burn sensations? <laughs> I lived through the 90s. <laughs> okay, you should be All right, sir. Now, if you will, just put your head between your knees and kiss that starfish goodbye. Wow. <laughs> Well, now, Mama Claus, now that Thanksgiving and Christmas are over, we've got to make some changes around the uh, North Pole here. I've decided that the uh, elves are not doing their jobs correctly. I've decided that your job as overseer of the elves is not going the way I wanted it to go. So, what we have here is a failure for us to communicate, and if we don't fix our communication, then we're not going to be able to fix the elves. Well, I, I didn't want to bring this up, but ever since you had that thing with Joy the Elf, I've been a little distant. Um, I, uh, I found you two underneath the mistletoe. Yes, she was. No, 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 no. Are we talking about Joy the Ho? No, Can we get back to toy production? We want to keep this a good discussion between us. We well, don't want to go I don't want to off on a up. tangent. But you aren't using the Jack in the Box correctly either. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because I tried to be a supportive wife. But what I saw. Oh. <laughs> this, this is this. <clears throat> this is not the way I envisioned this interview. <laughs> We were supposed to discuss as business partners the outcome of our business, not our business. Oh, well. So if we can keep on subject here, that would be good. Uh, the other elves. How many other elves are there? <laughs> <laughs> enough to produce enough toys for all the children on Earth? Wait a minute. No. You're what are you planning? No. Mr. Claus, you're going down a path I cannot follow. I hope you and Joy have a wonderful I'm so 
sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Stevens. Uh, I just well, that's, that's, that's that. quite all right. Uh, so, uh, as I understand, you're here as part of a uh, class action suit against a, 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 a ring of medical practitioners, just mercilessly yes. committing malpractice. And, and, Absolutely. Yeah. The first thing. They left me waiting in the waiting room for way too long and let my condition deteriorate. Oh, I, was it that serious? Yes. Yeah. Just waiting in the waiting room? How, how long Absolutely. were you there? I, I have a biological clock, and it was ticking, and it was ticking now. Now, what, what form of doctor was this? It was a gynecologist. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be is honest. there a I'm dollar value honest. for that? This is this is a slam dunk case. I could take this easily, but the bottom line is the cash withdrawal you're gonna get out of this case is not gonna buy you a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want a vagina. No. What kind of lawyer? <laughs> is, no, there, I'm is, sorry. is there? Can we? I'm sorry. Can, I, can, I, I, can I have to ask you to leave? Can I, I got a, I've got a workers comp right. slash sexual harassment Santa Claus case I need to do with you. Just need to get out. with everyone that I have problems with. And I have a major problem with you, sir. 
when you were my sixth grade teacher, you never were able to tell me the real thing about like life and sex education and whatnot, because I just got humiliated trying to file a lawsuit against a shady gynecologist. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't understand that gynecologist doesn't take care of guys. <laughs> to you. Why didn't you? I because you tied me up and duct taped my mouth <laughs> and then you tattooed my face. Sixth graders are playful. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I will undo you and you can go if you want. Oh, thank God. I've been tied in that chair for 20 years. So, after a lot of soul searching and some unnecessary medical bills, I decided I want a sex change. And so, very sad. I'm, I'm sad. You have any idea how painful it is when I cross my legs? That's sad. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. So, I understand. So, you're telling me that. You are not who I need to talk to if I want to turn an Audi no. in. No. <laughs> but I would be more than happy to give you this chair and allow you to sit down and rest your life. It's a different alley, isn't it? It is. I'm just going to wait here until this is the right alley because I think that's how it works. I will go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, go. Yeah, shh, shh, shh. It'll be fine. <laughs> So, I, I, I understand you've, you've decided to go through with gender reassignment surgery, yes? It's, uh, it's been a few weeks now, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, um, I, I, I understand that this can be a very trying time for, for someone in your position. And, and you're, 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 gonna need, you're gonna need a support group. You really are, because that major a shift in, in self-image, in your own personality. You're gonna need something to deal, to, to help you to deal with these, these feelings. A uh, personal shopper. Uh, <laughs> no, I was, I was thinking of maybe, maybe finding some friends that friends. care about you. You, 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 you have? Friends? Well, in my experience, friends only care about you for your body, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like I've uh, this this uh, this this counseling session went weird fast. But, yeah, I, I was I, uh, some lawyer told me to go I, here. I don't really don't know. I, Something I, about mandated. I, I, I can't say. Well, sounds like the man's keeping me down. Or, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, maybe maybe that that. Mandate was was supposed to be a a man date. <laughs> Joy, we have to talk. <laughs> I just need to get some things cleared out of the way. Mr. Claus has come clean about what you guys been doing. I'm a, I'm a little hurt, to say the least, Joy. Oh my god! He's in cahoots! He's in cahoots? Cahoots! Like how far in the coup? There's so many people that I can't even list them. There's like a Schindler's list of people. 